的时候，要在一起。哦，你要跟我们说什么 ？We have two kids. We have a two and a half year old and、um, a nine month old. We were ready to have kids when we kind of realized there's so much more to life than being places. While we were living in Philadelphia, taking the train to New York, and pursuing all these really great dreams that we had, I didn't realize that there was a whole other part of my heart that would open up. At the first, I did not really want to have a kid. I haven't finished my school yet. Watch the elder Anderson's talk, children. And during that talk, he said, "Where's your faith?" I thought that piercing question was just for me. And I, I feel right about having a kid at home. We go forward in faith, realizing the decision of how many children to have and when to have them is between a husband and wife and the Lord. I'm like, no, no, we can't do this. And it's like, no, we. What are we gonna do now? <laughs> we're gonna have, we're gonna have a baby, and then we're gonna have twins. I was just kind of freaking out, and it was this big jump of like, hey, this is a big step. Actually, yeah, we have four boys, four little boys, because he's one. <laughs> As a father, I fill a significant chunk of his world. You're just finding that your everyday things that you're gonna do, it's more fun and unloading the dishwasher, <laughs> the clean dishes, the plastic you know, stuff. The we'll plastic let them load. I think a common misconception with having kids is that life is over. I'm an artist, and I somehow am able to get it done just the same as I did before. It's been really cool to see and be a part of. How the Lord is is just making it happen. If I can take the time to just listen and to see my children, then it just makes it worth it. Those moments when you could become frustrated, suddenly you just see the the frustration in their eyes, and your heart is filled with compassion. It's a combination of patience and also just not taking things too seriously about about life. We learn how to love in our home. It's such an important thing. Looking back, you know, we had a great life, but we have a great life now, and I wouldn't give it up for anything. Heavenly Father really is trying to help us succeed. He has this wonderful plan, the plan of salvation. And as we faithfully follow that plan and, and do our part, He will help us. <laughs>